Coach Zillan Kerr, before the match, you spoke about defending those set pieces, the final fight, and that's exactly what you did here this afternoon against Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we practiced it yesterday. We only did 30 minutes because, you know, of this hectic schedule, we can't really practice longer than that. And we, we knew where the threat was coming. And to be fair, the goal that we conceded was poor because he's, he's hoofed it 30, 40 yeah, yards yeah, and we fun. still watched it and not dealt with it. And then I said, if you can't win the first ball, don't lose a second ball. And we did, they scored. At half time, I ripped into them at half time. You know, I showed him a video last night on Vinnie Jones's halftime team talk in America, where he his, his passion and his enthusiasm and his energy. You know, it's not a coach's way that they should do that, but I had to go to my half time. I said to them, you know, if you want to go down, go down. You know, I don't want to go down. I don't want to back mark on my CV. If you want to do it, you, it's up to you. Get out there and pull your socks up, pull your heart out, your stomachs, and go and play and win this game if not get a point and and they've done that so credit to the players they listen they listen for once and it was a tough account here this afternoon we saw Denman Farmer before the match struggling a bit with an injury he came out so it was a tough one for the guys having to really go that extra mile yeah I mean Farmer did, dislocated his shoulder he was in hospital but this morning he, he you know he said coach I want to play he's done magnificent you know he's, he's a good professional he's a good lad and we missed him on against Supersport when he went off. But then, you know, we've, we've rearranged it. We Matomi comes on. I, I love him. He's, he's a wee rat. He will win. I mean, he won so many challenges against Nurkovic. And look at the size of him. He's double the size. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for the players and the fans. And, you know, it's, I'm, I'm it's bitterly disappointed because I'm very close to Ernst. You know, and I know how much he wanted it. And I know how much Kaiser Chiefs wanted it. But we wanted it as well, and like I said before the game, it's the ones that want it most wins the game. And if you had to sum up the 2019-2020 ABSA Premiership season for Baraka, a long one, but finally done and dusted. A, a long one. We've got to learn the lessons that we've failed at. We've got to improve the squad in a way that we, we can make things better. We've got to improve everybody's attitude within the club, you know, because I think every year it's always a struggle you know and it does take time to build you know a, a successful team i've only been here literally six months you know january to may uh well five months but obviously the extended bubble <laughs> but you know it's the hard work that's done nobody knows what goes on behind the scenes with with what i do as a coach you know i've not got what kinds of cheese marmalody sundowns orlando pirates have i've got myself and i'm trying to educate the ones around me so I'm trying, I'm trying to build something and, you know, I love this country, I love the PSL, you know, I've played here before, I'm back and I like to stay here and if the boys, whoever uh, I pick, whatever I choose in the squad, produce that, then we'll get better and we'll, we'll, we'll improve and my chairman will be happier. Coach Dylan Kirk, congratulations for remaining in the league for yet another season. Thank you very much, appreciate that, thank you.